in the 2.1 part one unit circle introduction. So uh, unit circle is something we're going to be using a lot. Uh, it's something in trigonometry. So what you guys do is I want you to draw a large circle like this. Um, and be uh, along an axis, right? So you think about this as an x-axis. You can think about this as the y-axis. Uh, and these come up to one. So this would be, uh, for example, hard to label this as the ordered pair one zero. This would be zero one. This would be negative one zero, and this would be zero negative one. Okay, so this is really all on a coordinate plane, which is really zoomed in. Okay, which I gotta zoom out just to get that. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is break this down, talk about uh, what we're gonna do. So uh, any circle, 360 degrees all the way around, right? Uh, just like uh, Tony Hawk. You can't play that anymore, right? So um, if I start here, okay, which you always will. Uh, on a unit circle. This is at zero degrees. If I say all the way around one rotation is 360 degrees, I can start breaking this down, right? So halfway is going to be 180. It's divided in half. So this is 180 degrees. Okay? If I did half of that, that's 90 degrees. And if I looked at this angle here, that makes a 90 degree angle. So it, it's going to kind of piece together like that. Okay, uh, so I can do that. Uh, I know it goes 0 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90. So this would be 270 degrees. All right, you can see that? Okay, uh, so this is our 90 series. 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Just add 90 all the way around. Okay, I can do that with a bunch of different series. For example, um, some called the 30 series. 360 is divisible by 30. So I can go through, I can make 30 degree angles. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to divide it in thirds. I'm just going to connect lines from here to the center. Okay. This is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. Okay. I'm going to do it again over here. I'll just put this in half. I'll call that that pretty much whatever I'm writing down up here you're going to want on your board, right? Uh, I'm going to, before I write them all out, I'm going to just keep doing it over here. Try to make it as perfect as possible on yours, okay? Also, I'm using a different color marker. Uh, if you didn't use a different color pen, that's fine. Maybe start doing that now and then just shade over, okay? So I can make that here, make that here. Probably that made any uh, drawing mistakes, yeah. So uh, I'm going to fill them in now. Uh, 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. We already have that part of the series. Okay, 180 goes to 210. 210 to 240. Plus 30 again, 270. I already have that, right? Plus 30 again, 330 degrees. I'm oh, sorry, one ahead of myself. Just 300 degrees. Then it's 330 degrees. Okay? So this is what you call the 30 series. Okay? Uh, the other one you typically see is called the 45 series. It's going to be just what it sounds like, right? You go from 0 to 45 to 90. Uh, I'm going to use a different color marker. I uh, suggest you use a different color pen if you have it. If not, uh, try to write very neatly. Okay? Uh, the nice thing is I can just, between these two points, I can just put a mark there and connect it like that. Because that's the exact middle of 30 and 60. It was 45 degrees. Okay, I'll do the same thing here. I'll do the same thing here. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so all your graphs should look like this right now. So I come uh, 0 plus 45. Plus 45. Plus 45 is going to be 135. Okay, uh, plus 45 is going to be 180. Plus 45, I got to come here, 225. Plus 45, I'm at 270. Plus 45, I get 315. 
plus 45 and 360. So uh, these are the basic angles uh, with the unit circle, okay? Uh, so make sure you have this nearby. When we go on further, uh, we're gonna use these same points, okay? We're gonna start talking about radian and uh, coordinate planes, okay? Um, get this down. One thing we're gonna talk about uh, in 1.2 part two is what each one of these means. How, you don't have to draw this, but I can make a right triangle at any point. And I can figure out how long this section is and figure out how long this section is, right? Uh, we'll get to that eventually. One thing I want you guys to kind of write down is like a um, foreshadowing thing. With ordered pairs, I want you to write cosine of x comma sine. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is going to be your X point. This is going to be your Y point. All right. Uh, that will be more important in uh, 1.2 part two. Okay. Uh, remember, cosine is the X, sine is the Y. X, Y. Have that. Star it. Circle it. That will be important in your first homework set. But we'll get to that uh, on another uh, lesson. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you have this down in your notes somewhere with the rooms right uh, next to any of these spots. Okay.